The government, through the National Focal Point Program, intensified its crackdown on illegal guns across the country in 2012. The aim was to reduce the misuse of guns and register all unlicensed firearms. Four years on, 6,438 guns have so far been recovered across the country. Arua, Cotido, Kasese and Moroto districts registered the highest number of illegal guns. In our society, there are still people who think that when they are keeping a gun, an illegal gun or a weapon of that status, it is an asset. Our message to them is they are keeping a snake, they are keeping a lion. According to the 2014-2015 police crime report, gun-related murders stood at 158 compared to 131 in 2013-2014. Between 2014 and 2015, the country witnessed a spate of murders of prominent individuals including sheikhs and senior prosecutor Joan Kagezi. There are several unlicensed guns in private hands, but few people are willing to report those in possession of them. The government believes that it is this environment of concealment that is driving up cases of gun-related crimes. Between 2012 and 2013 of the gun murders committed, five involving security officials resulted in the deaths of 31 people. The shootings took place in Top Pub along Luwum Street, Luzira, Bombo, Mbuya, and Makindi. How are these guns stored? Uh, because if somebody is not on, 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 on duty, why should you be having the gun? We have started a program of uh, uh, acquiring gun boxes, metallic steel gun boxes, which we are now distributing to detaches and police posts. What will that one do? That one is supposed to improve the security and safety of the guns in that detach. It will now no longer be the work of a woman looking after that gun for the husband. It will be in the house of the OC. All the guns are put in that box and it is locked, secure. Out of the 6,438 guns destroyed at a demolition site in Bukasa, 3,755 are AK-47 rifles. It is very easy to operate. Even a kid can operate it. Small children can operate it. You only need three minutes to lecture somebody who will then become capable of you to using it. So it is a, a very, very, very dangerous weapon. Now to crack down on the illegal use of guns in the country, the government wants the 1970 Firearms Act amended to place tighter controls on possession and on transportation of ammunition. So we, uh, the, the, the popular views we have got is that that ceiling of the age be raised up. Two. Uh, some people are saying a minimum of 25 years, then you can apply the method of transportation or shipment to uh, avoid what we call diversion, because actually that is one of the most complicated areas in management of firearms, diversion. 